made myself a cup of green tea um, while it was raining until the rain stopped before I could film, which was really annoying this morning. But anyway, I've literally just spilt it on my trousers. So it's a good job you don't have to see that. I mean, well, you just have seen it, but <laughs> not while I film. It's not going to be distracting because you're only going to see the top half of me. Recently, um, interesting fact. I was drinking a lot of coffee recently and I actually think instead of it making me brighter, it was making me more tired and less motivated. So I've switched from coffee to green tea for the caffeine experience. And it seems to be actually hitting a little bit better. I seem to be in better form, like no headaches. Green tea seems to be working a treat. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a very long time since I have done a clothing haul. But today, ta-da, we're doing a clothing haul. I bought some stuff from Naked recently. So this is full of a few things from Naked. Now I didn't go crazy, I didn't go mad because I am being very conscious about my wardrobe, what I'm bringing into it. I am trying my very best not to over consume whenever it comes to clothing. So that's why the clothing hauls maybe just aren't as plentiful as they used to be. And that's why I'm doing a lot more vlogs recently. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to be more conscious about what I buy. I mean, I could buy a load of clothes and then just send most of them back. But I don't ever usually do that. <laughs> I always end up keeping or forgetting to return. And it's such a bad habit. So I'm really trying to get better at that. I have um, bought a few other items in the past month. And I'll show you them too. And for reference in this video, I'm a size, roughly a size 8 on bottom and 8 up top. I'm 5 foot 1. And with the clothing from Naked, usually I go for a size EU34, which I think is the equivalent of an 8. And my cup, if anybody wanted to know, or my mug, which is like my favourite mug ever, I got this um, down south in a little boutique hotel. And it's Sass and Belle. I would, t like, underneath there, it has the name. I can't tip it up or I'll pour this all over myself, but Sass and Belle, that's where it's from. Okay, first couple of items are pretty basic, um, but remember, I am into basics now, so that's probably the theme of how I shop. Uh, I needed, like, an oversized t shirt, so I got this one with the kind of big sleeves. It's still kind of cropish length, so it's not too long, and I wanted to, like, tuck it into this little cargo skirt. That's the color of it there. Um, kind of like this yellowy beige color. I got an extra small on my t-shirt which looks massive for extra small so just be aware of sizing. This is a very boxing oversized fit and then I got a size 36 in the skirt. Okay t-shirt I'm putting on this black belt with this just to sort of break it up a little bit. Just a little bit of contrast in color. I do have my Javianas on this one. So yeah that or Maybe this bag that goes with the beige, then we've got the black belt, and then these little heels if you wanted to wear out and about. Yeah, these are my heels that I got from Gucci. They're very worn, obviously, the Gucci heels, because they're vintage. Or vintage. I think that's the perfect little outfit, so we're gonna keep that one. Wanted a pop of color, so I grabbed um, this little top. It's just a little tube top. It has a little um, plastic lining inside to hopefully keep it up. It's also got this sort of asymmetric cut on it, like an open side on it. I was thinking just wearing this with a pair of white trousers, and actually I bought myself a couple of pairs of Havianas, and I got myself a pair in this kind of blue color but i wanted like a real simple kind of summer sandal so i got the blue color there and i think these might go really well together they look more similar on camera actually than what they are in real life they got the typical black ones as well um in from Haviana. I mean, this is my first ever pair of Havianas, but they are, are actually very very comfy but yeah i wanted something sort of not too expensive but that was going to last and i hope these well, I hope these last. <laughs> I asked in a poll, like, which ones did everybody prefer more on Instagram? And everyone went for the black. I actually kind of really like the blue because they're very different. Um, but, like, I, I just think it's a lovely color of blue, a lovely shade of blue. Let me know. Actually, I'm very interested to um, hear what your thoughts are and whether you prefer the blue color, like me, or just the regular old black. Let me know in the comment section below. Would you have went for the blue or the black? Obviously I've kept both because I decided that I didn't want to go against that Instagram poll. Like, I mean, who wants to go against the folders? Okay, excuse the label that's still on this because I don't obviously know about keeping it, but I'm gonna put on the blue Javianas with this. 
And then this little mango bag as well. Oh, that's another purchase that I got. <laughs> I think it's quite a cute sort of outfit. I don't know if the colours meet. I love, I love this little detail here with the slit. What do we think? The top's still in place. The top is still staying tight in place, so the little like elastic bit around it works. What size did I get? Whatever size I got, whatever size I said I got, it fits really well. Yeah, so the size small was a good call. Actually, this top is the reason that I even started um, a purchase. It's this a lemon, kind of lemon color top with an asymmetric detail um, sleeve or shoulder. I have been searching for like lemon the color lemon because i thought it would go so well with my hair and i wanted a piece of clothing that just wasn't black and white for a change i wanted something that was a bit of like a pop of color and lemon was the color i was going for this is like the only nice thing i have seen but i don't know what it'll be like on but it's the only nice thing i've seen online lately everything else is like either too yellow to in your face yellow or the cut or the shape of the garment just doesn't look like it would flatter me this might be okay. We're having high hopes. I hope we have high hopes for this one. And I got an extra small in this top. Could have been so much better. Now the positive to take away from this is, I know this color suits me. I like the color. Like what is going on here? I don't like the way that this has coverage and then this has like, like you can see my bra through this. It's just like, and it's literally a gap. It's like this is double fabric. I don't know what happened like this just this one section i don't want that showing thank you very much so i'll be going back such a pity the top's actually not too bad i don't like the lack of coverage on one side only i don't understand this i don't understand the design but yeah fit wise it, it fits really nicely it's a good size then we got this little sort of white cream textured kind of button down top it just looked very nice online. It came as part of a cord, but the skirt was sold out, so I only could get the top. If the skirt had been there, I definitely would have purchased the cord in it. So I got an extra small in that t-shirt. I actually really like this. This is very, very cute. Yeah, I definitely would have loved to have had the match of the skirt, but the top is so cute. You can like button it um, down completely. So that's it, button completely down. So I did get this. I purchased this from Mango as well. I love it. In that, that's a cool hat. Denim, it's like the Celine denim kind of dupe, kinda. I mean, almost. And uh, it says classic club on it. Out of all the hats I've ever purchased in my life, I've probably worn this one the most and I've only had it a month. I'm trying to see where I can fit the scarf into these outfits. I don't know, would that kind of work with this top? <laughs> it's kind of like one of those purchases I, that I thought that I'll get used out of and I'm like, was that a really bad idea, Ashley? All right guys, I nearly forgot to show, I got this bag. This kind of like woven bag, but it's very, very, very soft. On the website, I thought it was gonna be like quite hard, but it's, it's these beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you a different way of styling this t-shirt again, because I love it and keeping it uh, with the skirt, with the black avianas that I have. And then, yeah, this bag. I like it. I also got black. <laughs> for my soul. Um, I got this black top and it's like a sort of tie top at the front. And it's like an eyelash detail. Eyelash lace detail. Yeah, I thought this would be really nice. Long sleeve. I got this in a size 34 and I got a skirt to go with it. I just saw this in the model so I thought this might be nice but obviously more nighttime vibes, not summer vibes right now. Well, unless you love to wear black in the summer then this would be your vibe. Okay, so I love the top, love how it fits. The maxi skirt. Now, I could not get any lower than a size 34 because this is tight. The skirt is tight and a size 34. I might try this top on with maybe jeans instead to see do I still like it okay now this one here this this is definitely more me so I can see myself wearing this casual but like you see you can like dress this up obviously or dress it down and yeah this is gonna be like really nice and breezy and real casual like sort of Sunday outfit or just like a real relaxing Saturday day outfit if you're out shopping and you know, not stressing yourself. Okay, from the wardrobe that still might be in stock at the minute. I know this one is definitely still in stock and this is from Dish and this is my most 
favorite piece that I've got in the last month. I've already worn it a couple of times. I will say is the sizing of this now, this is a linen vest. So it's a linen waistcoat, but it's got like a square neck or like a rounded neck detail on it. Um, it's got lovely little darts in here which make it slightly fitted. Now I got this in a size AU6 or US size 2. Um, and this is where it differs with different brands. So I'm typically at a size E34 in naked, but I got a size E34 from this brand Dish, which is an Australian brand. And this was too big, but because it's linen and went in the wash, it shrunk a little. So actually, it's ended up being the perfect size now. So from now on in, I have to make sure that it just stays this size. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have put it in the wash, cold hand wash or dry clean only, but it worked out better for me in the long run. By this, I can't describe how much I love this waistcoat. It's like my best favorite waistcoat that I now own. This is it just with jeans and then a pop of color. I haven't actually tried to see, this, you know, does that look okay? That actually doesn't look too bad, looks kind of cute. Um, yeah, so this is another way to wear it again. These are also my favourite jeans as well. I got these from Sarah and they're like balloon jeans and they just look so good with everything. Oh so, yeah, this is still in stock. It also comes in white. Um, this is the beige or the natural colour and I think it comes in black as well. But it's the neckline for me that does it. It's the neckline that I'm just like, yes, 100% perfect something different but very me, very cute, chic, can be dressed up, can be dressed down. I love it. This one I got from Mango. I wanted it originally so on naked. It's a big flared maxi skirt, very much trending at the moment. Um, it's very hard to know what to style with this because it is such a sort of new piece to the fashion world I feel. Um, as in the last time you probably saw this type of skirt could have been back in the 1950s. So. Um, I have worn it with this top that I'm wearing right now, which I actually got from Naked as well. And I love the cut of this, like just the, it's just a little bit different from your usual vest top. So that one is a size small. Sarah so actually do a similar skirt as well, so I'll try and leave links if this one's sold out. I honestly swear this goes with everything, this waistcoat, because I actually even like it with this voluminous, voluminous, vol, vol, voluminous, I can't write, okay, the big puffy skirt. <laughs> this sort of, um, this tee, and then I've just like cropped it in a big bag with it. I'm going to put on these sort of Hermes lookalikes from Primark. Yeah, I like that. And then lastly, this is the last piece that I've gotten recently, and it's from Zara. It's just this cropped little shirt. I think the reason why I liked it as well is like this little sort of difference in the detail with the pocket so the pocket's been left bare so you have this sort of like asymmetric style and it does come in different colors pink and i think it comes in white as well but i think like a pink a pink striped a blue plain blue but this is a slight pinstripe to it i don't know if you can see there but it does have a slight pinstripe to it yeah and i got that one in a size small i've actually found out i'm not really into shirts recently <laughs> but i like this one i think just because of the cut and then at least it shows like a bit of my belt. You, I just don't like the fuss of them tucking them in. They don't sit right on me. So I prefer this one. Now I got this a few months ago now, but it's a navy blazer and I thought I wouldn't wear navy that much. And oh my goodness, I wear navy all the time now. So that is an outfit. Very chic, very sophisticated. Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, I just, need, I just need somewhere to wear it now. Three of these lip butter balms by Kylie Jenner. That's my only other extravagant purchase lately. Now they're like £17 each. They're like this little clicky, clicky twist up top. But like once you twist it up, you can't take it back down again, which is the downfall. Packaging is rather cheap, but it was only £17. Um, the texture of it is beautiful. So it's like a, sorry, I'm just giving you like a rundown or review of the um, Kylie Butter Balm, but that color is pick me up at eight. I got two other colors, but this is the one I'm wearing today. And I'm definitely lately more into like sort of like the balmy kind of texture rather than a lipstick kind of consistency. So I really like it that it looks like kind of your own natural lips, but 
just kind of a bit more zhuzh. And that is the end of my haul. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you liked anything, let me know down below which one was your favorite piece. And also what is your favorite place to shop at at the moment? Because I'm definitely on the search for new brands. Like I knew about Dish, but I recently fell into Dish again. And I love, love, love that brand. Like I've just made another order for um, a trip that I have in a couple of weeks time. I've only got two pieces again. But like they are beautiful pieces so if you like the video don't forget to give it a little like and thumbs up and then please do comment underneath what you'd like to see next and thank you so much for watching i'll see you later bye